Hello everyone, this is just a really general overview of the four campaign types we currently have in MailerLite. For details, or if you want to go deeper, please look into the description. I left there some videos for you. So now, to access the four ta campaign types, just go to this little drop-down from your dashboard over here. And you can choose here from regular split tests, auto resend, and RSS campaign. Or you can create a campaign here and do the same thing. You can also, of course, do this from the campaign section here. And it's the same thing. You can either use the drop down and choose the, the campaign type over here, or go ahead and just click Create Campaign. And here are the campaign types. They are repeated. But let's start with a regular campaign, and let's just call it regular. This is the subject of this campaign. And campaign, of course, is email or newsletter. It's just the same thing. Once you have that, just click Next. Choose your editor. You can also use your galleries here, your template gallery, or your recent emails if you wish. I'm just going to go ahead and click drag and drop editor. Edit the campaign to your liking, and then go ahead and click Done Editing over here. Then go ahead and choose your subscribers. I'm going to go ahead and choose all of them here. Scroll down to the bottom and click Review and Confirm. Preview it, send a test email, edit anything you need that needs editing again, and go ahead and schedule that campaign. That's how you create a regular campaign. If you want to go ahead and look at the other ones, just go to Campaigns again. Click Create Campaign, or let's go ahead and choose straight from here. Let's go with Split Test Campaign this time. And A-B Split Tests, you usually want to test only one thing at a time. That's why you have three options. You can test the email subject line. For example, Event X or join event, the X event, right? You can choose one of these. The same email will go out to one part of the group, then to another part of the group. And the one that has the most clicks or the most opens, depend on what you choose, will be the email that goes out to the rest of the group. Then you can, instead of just ch testing your subject lines, you can test the name, right? Instead of MailerLite tutorials, you can put in your name, and then you can put in your company name in the second, uh, in the second test, test B, and again, the same email will go out, but this time you will have it go out from different people with maybe different emails if you choose. Uh, of course, you need to ver verify your emails within MailerLite to be able to use the different emails, but then you can test it. Name, email, name, second email, and send it. Or you can change the email content, in which case the subject line stays the same. Then you click content, Choose your drag and drop editor or the rich text editor. You can go ahead and go into the template gallery if you're using our if you're on our pre premium plan. Let's try, let's try this one here. Edit the template to your liking and then click Edit B version. You can create the B version from scratch or you can copy it from version A. Let's do that. Now we use the same email, but of course you can use a different one. You can change the colors here. You can add different uh, content, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm just going to change the title. Done editing. I'm going to choose all the subscribers and click review and confirm. Here you choose the sizes of the groups. So let's say it's good to have more. This group is a little too small. It's good to have at least a thousand people. Then this email will go out to group A, which is 67 of the subscribers, and to group B. The second one will go out to group B, which is also 67. And the winning one, after an hour, the system will check and send the winning email to the rest of the group. Once you're done, review and confirm. So the subject of, of the email is the same. You can preview this email here and then preview the second one here. The only difference is the, the, the headline here. So you can see it's event. And that's it. Once you're done, you can just schedule the email and send it out. So that's that. Let's go look at the other ones. Let's look at the other campaign types. Here is the auto resend campaign. And this one sends out two emails. Uh, the second one goes out to the people who either didn't open or didn't click your email, depending on what you choose. So you can have subject line A, event, subject line B, are you coming? So in this case, two emails get sent out 
to the second one goes out to the people who didn't open the first one. So it's the same exact email, just with two different subject lines. With this second option here, it's pretty cool because the you also have two subject lines, but to that first email that goes out, you can add a personal message. So the second email that goes out to the per people who didn't click or open the email, the second email looks like it's forwarded from you. And like I said, you can add a personal message. In this case, I like leaving these subject lines the same because automatically MailerLite, when, they, when it sends out uh, that second email, it's going to put something like this in front of it. So it's going to look like it's forwarded uh, from you. So that's why, but you don't need to put it here. It'll be added automatically. You know, you just click content, choose, edit it to your liking, and then edit B version. And this is where you add your personal message. I'm just gonna say, did you see my last email about the event? Marcin, done editing. Choose all my subscribers, click review and confirm. And I'm gonna go with the people who didn't open. You can also choose for the people who didn't click anything in your email review and confirm. And here is the first email preview. And that's it. And here is the second one. So the second one will go out with this little personal message. And on the bottom, it will be that first email. So it's actually forwarded. It looks like it's forwarded. And the first subject line is here event. The second one is the same. But like I said, there will be a F W D the letters before this. So it's going to look like it's forwarded. Then you can go ahead and click next, schedule the emails. Now let's go back to campaigns, create campaign again, go to auto resend again, because I talked about these two. And this third one, it's basically you can ch change the subject line of that second email. And you can also change the whole content of that second email, if you'd like. That's all for the auto recent um, campaign type. This is very powerful. Please don't overuse this. Otherwise, people will get used to it and it's not going to be so powerful. And also, please remember, you need to think about this before you send the campaign. You need to cre create an auto recent campaign. You can't do this automatically with campaigns you already sent. So that's most of it. Let's go to RSS now. The RSS campaign basically automatically pulls the content from your blog and puts it into your email. Now let's use WordPress as an example.com. Let's put feed because that's what it usually is. It's either feed or RSS. Look it up. And if they do have that in, on their blog and they do RSS, right? It's working there. Then it will work with your system. Just remember, not everyone has that set up. So it's not going to work with every single website. You can have the subject line. I want this to be the weekly blog articles or blog posts, RSS, next. There we go. We want it once a week. Show only the new posts, next. And we can choose one of these templates. Let's go with this one. Now, of course, you can just choose any template. I'm just going to use this one. This one goes out every week, of course. So this would be an introduction to the newsletter. You can make it pretty short. And you can just use the RSS block here. Some templates already have it. And there we go. This, this automatically pulls the articles from WordPress, these three articles. And of course, you can have, instead of three, you can have you know seven. And you can play around with all the settings here to change things around if you want a featured image, et cetera, et cetera. Once you're done, click Save. Done editing. Choose your subscribers. Review and confirm. And this is the standard overview of your campaign. And here are the RSS settings. Once you're done, click Next, Schedule. And there you go. Once you click Send, this will automatically send the new posts you have on your blog in the email to all of your subscribers every week. Let's go back to campaigns. And that's pretty much it. We went over the regular campaign, split test campaign, auto resend, and RSS campaigns. I hope this was beneficial to you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as usual, I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.